All right, guys, Fitz and BMW back for an, yet another cast here. And coming from D-Rank Team League Season 3 here, uh, it's me game number two between Team All Kill Kings and SK Telecom Team 3 here. And spawning here on the top right as the Teal Terran, there'll be TAKK Zero Chrome here. And his opponent from SK, uh, S yeah, SK uh, Team 3, it will be Guy Gun, also from the Team Walk. If you guys don't know, that is my favorite team from my Cup Clan League. I'm very excited to see how Guy Gun performs this game. I hope he performs pretty well. And the map's the Gladiator. And I forgot to mention, though, uh, BMW was very thankful to tell me this in between casts here. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about the format here, like I said, it was very much uh, similar to iCup uh, Clan League, but the difference between this is, one, it doesn't have a 2v2, and two, that it is just a best of one. So it doesn't, if you lose, you lose. So every game counts. Yeah. And, uh, me and Fitz aren't really experienced with Terran versus Terran cast, so bear with us. We're gonna be uh, doing our best, and especially D rank Terran versus Terran. So <laughs> I know, uh, generally speaking, um, it's like race and mech. Like you get a lot, you get a lot of raids, and you get a good amount of tanks. Um, yeah, like I know, like two port wraith build. I know two fact, three fact. You know, like. Three fact expand, you know. Yeah. I know some builds. So it looks like uh, our teal Terran Zero Chrome is uh, going gas. So that's gonna be good. He's gonna get a fact out, hopefully. Maybe get some vultures going. And uh, it looks like uh, Guy Gun. Is that his name? Guy Gun. Yeah, yeah. Guy Gun has not gotten the gas yet. So well, I'm not I, sure. I think he might he's... bunker rush. He he's rallied his. I think he's rallied his barracks over there. No, maybe not. Um, he's oh, actually wait. rallied two SCVs to find out where where yeah, his opponent is. Guy that Gun, man. Wow, he really wants to know. I, he might do some cheese here. Um, I'd like to think this is more of like a one barracks like FV with a bunker placement before CC. But I don't think that's the case. But I could be wrong. I mean, he's making a lot of Marines here, which... Quite honestly, I've never seen Bio used in TBT. I, I think it's cool. I'm just not really quite sure how you're gonna really do, how you're gonna really outmaneuver tanks well. I guess you can do marine drops onto the tanks. I've done that before. And we have some bio, SCV hugging in the bio north part in, of Bio in this matchup doesn't work. So he's either gotta kill some SCVs really fast or he's gonna lose. Like, Yeah, because, he's got a marine pressure here. Um, yeah, Bio doesn't work. I'm just theor crafting here. Yeah, it could D -ranks, work, maybe, maybe, just maybe. D ranks, maybe. And that was kind of a blow that he lost at SCV. He should have done better to keep that microing around too. That was kind of a wasted. Oh, but here we go. Yeah, we have two. Yeah, this is this is gonna be done. Hey, the vault, when the vault, when the vulture comes out here, it, it's done. He, he's gonna try to bunker rush like I predicted, but it's this. I I don't think it was even a BBS either. I mean, this if this was a BBS, then maybe I could understand it working. But because it wasn't, it, there's no point. Cause, I mean, if this was a, a BBS, then he would have double the production. Um, well, I don't, and he would I don't know. It this too. is actually a really nice spot where he got it now, because now he can, you know, he's going to feel a little more comfortable to drop his own factory, possibly, and, you know, rally some of his own vultures there right now. He just gotta go fast right now. Yeah, the only the, the, the well, first off, though, Zero Chrome's actually not mining right now with like five of his SCVs or eight of them yeah. actually rather. But the the thing to note though is, I mean, like this push can't really do anything else. I mean, yes, he has contained, but it's not like the biggest whoop. I mean, even I mean, it does limit Zero Chrome's capabilities here, and by no means is it's not a really good play, but. I don't think Guy Gun's in super advantageous position as he'd like to think he is. He's actually going to put down an expansion before Factory. Um, so he's really getting the latest Factory possible. Um, but yeah, he needs to wait for Siege Tech to push out, or he could always tech the Starport and potentially... Oh, that range got 
But yeah, a huge, this is a huge risk our purple Terran's taking by taking such a fast expansion without taking any factories yet. Yeah, he's gonna push up the ramp too. I, I think he actually may just go on top of the ramp with the bunker. Um, I mean, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard. To, I mean, he's, he's putting on two factories, so I mean, yes, he's gonna be going for more of a standard. He'll transition to more of a standard game here, but very bizarre. I think if this hoping... works, if this works, Fitz, he's gonna he's gonna be way ahead. Yeah. I mean, like he's gonna be so far ahead of the of the teal Terran. What I mean, what could even happen is um, if we just saw a ooh, ooh, even a high ground vision. Those Marines are okay. Um, but yes, this is definitely the stalling. But what we might have could have seen is just get two tanks and. You know, slow push, but make a command center so he's not going to be losing as much. But so he wouldn't lose as much of, of, of an economy here. Okay, so he's an E maybe behind his uh, command center. Maybe pretend, maybe thinking raids are coming. I don't really know, but yeah. Yeah, that would be. This is a good transition. If he does go to two port raid, that would be a smart transition at this point. But we'll yeah, because there's no AA at all. Um, Actually, we, Zero Cop actually has his own start part at the north, very north part of his base here. Yeah, if if he got about mass race, uh, our Purple Terran would be in a world of trouble right now because he would have no clue. And that would be really great because he can just snipe off a ton of SCVs and pick off Marines and pick off some stray tanks. I, I think that would be a great transition right now considering he's so contained. Yeah. I also wonder, uh, well, I don't know. I'm just, I mean, it's like, it, it, I mean, every knowledge of TVT I've had is now just out the window because of that weird bunker rush that, um, I mean, it, it, I think it's their purpose well. I mean, it didn't put them in like, you know, terms of like super far ahead, but I mean, it, it, it's allowed him to really take that expansion without really getting punished for it so early. Which is definitely helpful. Which is de definitely give him a slight lead, in my opinion, in terms of economy. But just how yeah. he, how does he deal with this economy in in a way? I mean, he's getting up to th uh, three facts now. He's getting the double upgrades on the machine shops here for his vultures here. He's gonna push again and with tanks and a lot of tanks actually. But these yeah. tanks are already sieged though, so you would need raid support for this probably. He may just turn around. He's gonna be in, he's gonna be in a great. Pit. Uh, does he have siege mode by any chance? Um, yes, he does. Okay, he already, great. He, he already he already researched. It. Yeah, he's gonna have siege mode. So yeah, I I guess guy is just going into this game just like wanting to contain the Terran as much as possible. And you know, when you do that, it's like it's just annoying. It's just really really annoying. And we have a lot of vultures in the main base of the purple Terran. He's oh, doing some yeah. work. I didn't even see that. Um, and this is definitely going to even up pretty much anything that was originally going on, um, for sure. And I'm wow, he is, he is balling this guy right here. Yeah, I don't... It's just, it just hurts to be tearing right now. Oh my god. These four vultures are capitalizing. Right now, they've taken out so many SUVs, and he's had to retreat have his seven whole force. Yeah, it was a really, really great out of position trick by Zero Chrome just did there. And, I mean, if anything, has put himself back in further in the game than anything else. But. Um, I mean, he's killed off the tank that was lying outside his base here. The campaign is broken. He can go attack, and he has a lot of tanks. And only that, he has drop support. Not only that, yeah. he can also get he can also get raised support if, he, if he'd like to. I mean, I think Zero Chrome's ahead in pretty much any way you could possibly say, except for the fact that Guy Gun has a defense. Now yeah, I do believe I, battle. <laughs> I honestly believe Gaigun uh, was completely 
captivated by that vulture in his base because his uh I think his macro well both players macro is starting to balloon up but I, I really think that uh guy gun is just he's so nervous now because he's, he's starting to have idle SCVs and he's not doing good production on his factory necessarily that was a key he sent the marine there to take one of those shots to allow for a tank to actually get off the fire and kill off one of them which is very interesting um but yeah I mean what Gigan still has a higher SCD count even despite the fact that he's lost so many. And yeah. But the, the difference though it, it's a higher SCD count doesn't really necessarily give you better map control. Which is what Zero Chrome has obtained. And Zero Chrome doesn't really have right now doesn't have to worry about any kind of um Starport play because, well, he doesn't have one, so he, there's really no risk at it. And I'm not quite sure if he knows that yet, but it looks like finally he's here from the game. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice vulture play by uh, Guy Gun. He sniped two tanks with two. And we got this uh, slow push coming out by Guy Gun Walk now. Yeah. I'm also I'm just I'm just trying to figure out. Um would I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> I really have no idea. But yeah. Um Oh man, this Teal Terran keeps losing tanks unnecessarily. He keeps having them in siege mode at the worst possible spots. And Guy Gun is capitalizing. Oh man, and Zero Chrome has a really bad like factory set up in his base. I, I think it's just maybe it's just because the main base is so tiny on this map. Yeah. And he has a race, so I don't know if he's gonna try to he can actually just utilize that right now and there's no AA, so at the moment of covering the tanks. I mean Oh my god, again in the drop. main base is Gigan. We've got Vulture Harass going on. Yeah, we have another Nice back. drop. So he's, that's the second time he's made the whole, like, the main base become completely gone. He puts fire marks by that, and... Oh! Kind of fodder one to lose right there. But also, keep in mind that we have a third base going in for zero from right now. I, I believe Guy Gun with that SCV in the bottom left-hand corner may also expand here, so it looks like about identical uh, expansion timings right there. Uh, and uh, we're going to have another push coming up here, but it, it's kind of hard to say, in my opinion, who's actually winning right now. I think I definitely um, think Zero Chrome's definitely a smarter player in terms of like strategy and trying to break down the economy, but the engagements by him haven't been perfect. Yeah, they're well, both guy playing kind pretty of the opposite. They're both playing pretty sloppy. Not well, gonna D -rank. lie. D rank though. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just if I think if Zero Chrome gets a third expansion, up, you know. And you know, maybe if he got some more race, man, he could really do damage, but he's just I don't see it, man. They need to he needs to step it up and get a nice little force going here. I mean, we're, we're, we're four teams in this game and it still has yet to actually be um four teams. It, 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 it's four teams in the game and they've yet to like get over hundred lives against each other. Okay. Um, but I mean, then again, I wouldn't. I would expect a long game for a TBT because, like, even if you're behind, like, if you actually, if you, if the person in the lead accidentally runs into a siege tank line, like, they can just change the game, and then they have no army, and then all of a sudden, there's siege tanks by your front door, but you have enough tanks to have, hold that off because you have too many that are sieged up, and then it kind of just goes back and forth like a cat and mouse game, tug of war. So, yeah. I don't really well, I, I like the strategy that Zero Chrome's finally doing. He's finally getting a huge tank force out. You know, he's starting to get his tanks lined up in a nice little area on his hill. And that's going to be good because if if the Purple Terran does decide to do a slow push in, he's going to get annihilated. And I want to see Zero Chrome go back for an attempt at his third expansion. You know, and now he's getting three race out, which is great. 
So hopefully he can he can get a little set up here. And these guys need to lay more mines all over this map. I don't know what they they're doing. Get some mines laid out on this map, you know? Yeah. Why? Well, I, I, to be fair, neither player is really actually utilizing the other side of the map, so there's really no flanks that are actually coming at all. Yeah. Um, and he's actually going to deny that turret from going up there. He's going to get a couple of uh, tank kills uh, right here, which is always nice. Yeah, he needs about three more, and this would be... And maybe Cloak, and wow, that would be a game changer right now. It's... Yeah, but Goliath are out. So eventually, the... I've tried going map three before, and it just doesn't work. It does. Um... Like it does work. It does. Yeah, it does. I I, I, I have to show you some top level TVT sometimes. It does work, especially on a map like Outlier. Well, I'm thinking when Goliath or comes, outside. they just die so quickly. I mean, if there's like ten Goliaths out, they just melt. I mean, just like melt. But uh, but I mean, I, I I'm just saying like mass race, like just just nothing else. And it appears that he has dropped the call, or I have. So, because you can just start destroying his stuff real fast. Yeah. Because you become a muta ball. You just keep adding more race. You know? Yeah, but like in, I mean, I'm just talking like the, talking like a main army in general. Um, oh, makes a main it different. army in general, yeah. I mean, I, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying like Wraith like is bad to get. I'm just talking about like if you're trying to attack this ball and there's like five turrets plus like the like, ten Goliaths, like your your Wraith are crappy. I'm not. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm talking. I'm talking about harassment. Then that's fine. It's like meatless. Like they're crappy against attacking a main army. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, Wraith are just better meatlisks. Um, but yeah, I, was, so, I was just talking about like early game, like beginning in the game, it does work. But like, yeah. like you're saying with this, if you're doing a slow push, your opponent's doing a slow push, and you got mass race, I mean, it's not yeah, going to work. It's not going to work out too well. And I don't know what Gaigan's doing. He just foddered three, just th three Wraith right there, and uh, these are the Wraith are going to have to get out of there really quickly. Okay, so we have like a siege take line in the center of the map here, so I, they're kind of just kind of cutting the map in half, if you will. Uh, the Wraith are in the natural expansion, getting a good amount of kills as well. So this is actually really annoying for Gaigun to really deal with, especially between the third, uh, the gap between the third and f the third and natural, because there's really no way to get there fast. You have to go all the way around the map, and he's actually kind of he's kind of actually executing this perfectly here. Um, the problem though is he's actually somewhat smart. Gaigun left three of them back at the third, so there's no risk of them just running back there. Um, and he's actually killed eight SCVs from this entire thing right here. We have a, another expansion coming up here at the 12 o'clock as well by Zero Chrome. So um, it is 107 supply for Zero Chrome. No, 115 for Zero Chrome and 105 for 111 now for Guy Gun. So pretty similar supplies. <laughs> and I really think that the, what's going to come down to this is who's dumb enough to, to walk into the other's tanks first. <laughs> I really think that's what's going to happen, and then that's going to be a good game, you know? Like, whoever yeah. just gets a tri an itchy mouse finger and and just walks into the other guy's tank line. Yeah. Um, I mean, Zero Crow's... Yeah, he did snipe off that, which is actually really nice. So it, what Zero Crow's doing well is how you would actually execute your race in a way in the mid and late stages of the game. It can't really... You can harass it to the point when there's like five missile turrets in each base, which is in the main. There's nothing guarding the natural now, but and the third probably has a couple missile turrets. Even the natural is really only exposed, but it's gonna be hard to actually get in there with a bunker and some other stuff, you know, guarding that well. So really, in order to utilize wraith well, you kind of just snipe off whatever you can that are kind of like coming in. You're just being active with them, seeing what you can kill off, or you just fodder them to get free up more supply. But we don't actually need that right now, as these players aren't really macroing that well. Yeah, that, like you said about the Magra, I'd like to see the Purple Terran bump up to maybe eight factories. I mean, you got the expansions going in the gas, like, bump it up and get your unit production higher, you know? Well, he, well he's making Wraith, which he's making two-part Wraith for Guy Gun, so he's actually making a lot of gas into air units. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. But, 
you are correct on the fact that maybe more vultures from more factories might be probably a better option as well. Because Wraith, you know, Sky Terran, if you're, if you're just going to be going Sky or Air units from Terran, they're just really expensive gas intensive. So you, you, you're not going to have the... You're always going to have a higher mineral intake probably than gas in most cases. So you're always going to have a surplus of minerals and you need a mineral dump some, somewhere. So to do that, you are often need to just get vultures or marines. But in this case, marines would just be absolutely worthless So in this yeah, matchup. Minerals, I mean, uh, vultures are very cost-effective mineral-wise. There are only 50 minerals, I think. 75. And you know, you can, huh? 75, but yeah. 75, but still, they're super cheap. You get you get seven factories and you just pump them out like continuously just pump them out and then hot key them up a couple hot keys and just go lay mines everywhere and I mean what happens you snipe some tanks I mean or yeah maybe, or maybe you harass them uh, a third I mean I'd like to see that I mean and now it looks like Gigan is actually getting some rates out I mean some vultures out on the map but come on guys let's see some use them I think it's hard when there's like the map is cut in half by tanks but. You have to find, like, that area. Okay, but actually, we're going to have a huge run-by on the 4th. That will probably just force a cancel on the 4th base of Zero Chrome. Um, I, is he actually not going to... I was just going to say, he could just focus fire and just target fire it down. But, or he's just going to make him die either way. But, okay. Well, he's going to get in the 3rd. Um, maybe we some Havoc here. This is, nice. this is a good yeah. move right here. Well I mean, he did lose right a ton there. of them. Yeah. If you're gonna get SCVs, I thought they weren't. On, I thought they weren't even gonna get in the base. But yeah, I was wrong. So, so be it. Damn it, Fitz, you were wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I really don't watch. know what happened. He's what? You down. <laughs> Shit. Oh. All right. So who's gonna make the first move, Fitz? I want to see um, gun to your head. Who, who's going to make the first move and, and accidentally drive all his tanks into the other, other guy's tanks? I think you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I, I don't know. It looks like this Teal Terran's got his, his force is getting really big now. I, I, I really think I don't, you know, again, it, it, it I really don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to fix some audio levels because you were really low. But anyway, um, I mean, yeah, I mean it, it's, it's, it's hard to say because, like, d rank games is sometimes just, like, what, like, it just comes down to the mechanics of both players. But at this point, I mean, it's it's looking very much what a traditional TBT looks like. You get a lot of, you get a lot of tanks, you get a lot of mech, and you get great. You get you get mobile with your wraith. You snap off a couple of tanks, and you hopefully kill off a siege line. Exactly what you're doing right now with these wraith. That what guy gun's doing on to your crown wraith right here, and you can try to open up a a potential position for you to move in. I mean, you're not gonna you're gonna you're gonna take some tank blows for sure, but I mean oh. that's what you're gonna do. Oh. That's exactly what the guy gun's gonna be doing right here. What I guess we got our answer fit. Yeah, um, and you might have been right about stupidly going into a siege line. And don't forget, though, Zero Chrome was actually on the high ground. So, you know, what is it, 50% or 25% of each tank shot's not going to hit? So, I mean... Wow. That was a huge... Yeah, that was a huge blunder of two guy guns. Huge. Um, if you're going to do that, I mean, this map's going to be tough to do it on just because of the ridges with Siege Shot. With Siege Shot, like, how do you be the offenser on this map? I mean, it's like, this is must be the most crappy... or. A very crappy map to play on for TBT. Um, for a lot of players. Yeah, and there's there, you actually out predicted this game, good sir. You actually predicted that um, someone was gonna go run into a siege line, and um, yeah, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's exactly what happened in this game. Uh, there's really not, 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 nothing much else to say, but uh, good game. Um, that well, the uh, the one team is two and zero now, I think, right? T T A K. Um, all right, guys. Dun, 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 dun. We'll go. Good on game. To... Good game. Good game, guys. And Fitz and BMW will be back for another cast. Peace, guys.